Hello and welcome. Today is December 11th. My name is Kemper. This is a show we call Third and 21. Two things we do here. Talk about college football. Try to have a little fun. Talk about college football. Try to have a little fun. This is going to be an abbreviated version of Third and 21. Obviously, there's no changes in the KPI Top 12. But that doesn't mean that there's not a lot to talk about in the world of college football. So let's start it out with a segment we like to call hashtag THTD. Thumbs up! Thumbs up. The Army-Navy game. Nothing like it. It is absolutely. You don't have to be a college football fan to enjoy the Army-Navy game. I was with a couple people who really did not know much about college football. Everybody loved it. Super cool walk-in and Army. You get to sing second for the third year in a row. Go Army, beat Navy. Thumbs down. If I were the czar of college football, I would have changed up the bowls just in two. The Florida UCF would have played each other in the Peach Bowl. Uh, natural rivalry, or at least headbutting going on there, Florida and Central Florida. And Michigan and LSU, who have never played before, would have uh, played in the other game, but we get it the other way around. Florida plays Michigan for the third time in four years, uh, and fifth time overall, Michigan, 4-0 in the first four games they played. Thumbs up! Thumbs up. There are 13 of, the, of all the bowl games, 13 of them match teams that are playing for the first time. That's pretty cool. I like to see a Pac-12 play ACC and and just mix it up like that, so good job. Thumbs up! Syracuse, Buffalo, and Tulane all get into a bowl game for the first time since 2013. It's a reward for a good season. Each one of those teams are on the rise. Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Virginia Tech, 26 years in a row, you've made it to a bowl game. You did it by beating your arch rival. Virginia, uh, they will play Cincinnati in the military bowl. Hey, tell you what, this ain't gonna take long. Take your coat off. Stick around. Welcome to Third and 21, a show where we talk about college football and try to have a little fun. Where we talk about college football and try to have a little fun. Now back to you, Kemper. All right, welcome back. Thank you, Jenny, for the voiceover. Let's talk about four bowl games coming up this Saturday. You might not know a whole bunch about, but there's some pretty cool matchups, starting with the New Mexico Bowl. Yes, yes, the New Mexico Bowl between Utah State from the Mountain West and North Texas from Conference USA. Interesting game. Better teams than probably what you think, just hearing the names. Utah State, 10-2 uh, and two out of the Mountain West. If you remember back, second week of the season, almost, almost beat Michigan State. Um, the deal is, though, Matt Wells, their head coach, is gone for Texas Tech, and he took his offensive and defensive coordinators with him. Gary Anderson comes back home to coach where he started at Utah State, but that won't start till after the bowl game. So Utah State is going in severely hamstrung, but they're a good quality team playing North Texas, if you remember. North Texas beat Arkansas at Arkansas, uh, a quality team in the mean green. The Cure Bowl between Tulane from Conference USA and Louisiana Lafayette from the Sun Bowl. Yep, the all Louisiana, all Louisiana Bowl there. Uh, these two teams have a history with each other. All time record, Tulane leads 22 to six, but in the last 12 meetings, the teams have split six to six. Um, like this game, a lot of emotion will be in this game. The Las Vegas Bowl between Fresno State from the Mountain West and Arizona State from the Pac-12. Best early bowl game uh, of the season. Arizona State with Herm Edwards way ahead of schedule. If before the season started, you said, hey, we, you will go to a bowl game, doesn't matter what it is. Arizona State would have signed up for that. Um, love this game. Fresno State is a Memphis collapse away from playing in the Fiesta Bowl against uh, LSU. They're a quality team, a very tough team, and will be motivated to play a Pac-12 team. The Camellia Bowl between Eastern Michigan from the MAC and Georgia Southern from the Sun Belt. Love Camellias. Love Camellias, so I love the Camellia Bowl. 
Coach uh, Lunsford has absolutely put a grease fire out that was Georgia Southern and got them back to where Georgia Southern expects themselves to be, and that is playing for championships. Uh, good season, got to beat uh, App State at home on a Thursday night. But this game means a lot to Eastern Michigan, too. This is only their second winning season since 1995. Uh, so they are excited about going to a bowl game. We'll see this one again and put your money where your mouth is. The RMC Carrier Bowl, RMC Carrier New Orleans Bowl between App State, the Sun Belt champion, and Middle Tennessee State. Hey, listen, don't discount a conference championship. That is what you play for. App State was dominant all the way uh, through the season. If you remember back, again, second week of the season, lost to Penn State in overtime. They also lost to Georgia Southern at Georgia Southern on a Thursday night. App State is a quality, quality team, but head coach Scott Satterfeld is the new coach at Louisiana, uh, excuse me, uh, Louisville. I think they got a terrific hire there. Uh, playing Middle Tennessee State, listen, Eight and five, ah, that don't sound so. Three of their losses of the, were to Georgia, Kentucky, and Vanderbilt. This is their fourth bowl game in a, in a row. So keep your eye on Middle Tennessee State in this game. Uh, tell you what, let's take a quick break. And when we come back from our friends at Maxi Homes, let's go to the ever popular mailbag and put your money where your mouth is. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Maxi Holmes, longtime supporter. Big thumbs up to Maxi Holmes. It's not just a saying. Long on quality, short on drama. That's the Maxi way, a Maxi Holmes way of doing things. Link is in the description below. Let's go straight to put your money where your mouth is. That's where I pick games against the spread. We keep track all season long. Finish the regular season at 28 and 27, two ties, 51%. Uh, but I got a four-pack of winners for you all kind of starting this Saturday. North Texas is a team that scores a lot of points. They've averaged almost 37 points a game going up against Utah State, who has lost their head coach and both coordinators. I just think that's too much to overcome, and you get nine and a half points. Love North Texas with the points. Next up, Tulane versus uh, Lafayette. Lafayette. Um, Listen, UL Lafayette is the runner-up in the Sun Belt. Nobody thought they were going to be there. They're kind of playing with house money. Uh, Tulane needs this game a lot more than uh, Lafayette does. I think that they're going to put in the work, work a little bit harder, lay the three and a half points with Tulane. Next up, my favorite game of the weekend, Fresno. Uh, very tough, physically tough team is going to go up against uh, Arizona State. Arizona State's athletes are probably a little bit better, but uh, all-world wide receiver Herod is not going to play. That means Fresno State can bunch up, try to stop Benjamin on the run. Take Fresno State minus four, and that one will be a winner. Uh, finally, Georgia State versus uh, Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan kind of uh, fattened up at the last part of the year on some lesser uh, quality opponents. Uh, they did do excellent against the pass to really booster up their uh, defensive numbers, but Georgia Southern is not going to pass the ball very often. Uh, Eastern Michigan played Army, who also runs the, the option, and lost 37-22, gave up over 300 yards. Georgia Southern will be motivated in this game. Hey, all you got to do is give up one point. So take Georgia Southern over Eastern Michigan by one, uh, minus one. Fresno State minus four. Tulane minus three and a half. North Texas plus nine and a half. That'll get you to four and oh. What a way to start your bowl, uh, bowl games out with a four and oh clip. Tell you what, let's thank, first of all, on the road again, cars. Uh, Brandon Baldwin always buying 
quality cards for quality people. Link is in the description below. He sponsors the ever popular mailbag. That's where you can write in. Ask me any question. I will do my level best to give you clear and concise answers. First question. Phil from Phoenix. What is an under the radar bowl game you're looking forward to? Wow, I, uh, I'm looking forward to a number of them. Um, under the radar bowl game. Uh, you know, one that kind of jumps in my brain right now is Boston College versus Boise State. I think that's going to be kind of a cool matchup of two, two teams that probably, have never, I'm sure, is one of the 13 who have never played each other. Um, and that is in the, where is that, the military first, bowl? First responders bowl. First responders bowl. There you go. Uh, Josh from Morgantown, what do you think about the West Virginia Syracuse game? Hey, I think that's a fun old school rival. The old Big East, uh, Big East rivals coming back at it. Uh, as far as the game goes, uh, I don't know how motivated West Virginia is going to be to play in this game. I know playing Syracuse is going to get them a little fired up, but I have not heard that Will Greer is going to sit it out. But that's something that you always got to keep your eye on. And Syracuse, first bowl game since 2013. They're going to be excited to be there, and you're going to get Syracuse's best effort. Next question. Leon from Johns Creek. Purdue versus Auburn? Question mark. <laughs> Purdue, that's the, that's the question. Purdue versus Auburn? Uh, hey, listen, you know what it is? It's, it's one alumni group that is really happy that their coach stayed and is going to be their coach for a long time. Uh, another alumni group that is very sad that their coach has stayed and is going to be there for a long time. So, interesting game. Hey, Music City Bowl is a great bowl. I really like the uh, Music City Bowl. Next question. Um, Jane from Alexandria. Do you think Tua got cheated out of the husband? Are you serious? I don't even know. I don't think so at all. I mean, I think this. I think uh, Tua will win one or maybe two Heismans, but um, this year I don't think no. I uh, I had him actually. I had him a third in my voting, so uh, no, I don't think he got cheated at all. Must be a Roll Tide fan. Hey, listen, uh, we want to wish you a very merry Christmas. We will be back next Tuesday to break down the next set of bowl games. Uh, in the meantime. Go to the sponsor's link below, like, subscribe, and we thank you for watching. In the Christmas tree, I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true.